feel like you're paddling upstream when it comes to choosing among the many music streamer options out there. Not to worry, we've got you covered. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our product unboxings, reviews, comparisons, and much more. And hit the bell so you're notified when we post new content. We recently did a video on the three reasons why you should buy a music streamer. Now, we're here to share our picks for the best music streamers for 2022. We've divided our choices into various usage and need scenarios. Let's get right into it. Now. For the best bang for your buck for streaming to headphones or speakers, we recommend the Blue Sound Node or the Blue Sound Vault 2i. These are both smaller desktop units that provide great user experience and an award-winning app. Now, do you need a music streamer with CD ripping plus storage for all of those digital files? The Blue Sound Vault 2i network streamer priced at $13.99, has a built-in CD ripper and two terabytes of internal storage. Featuring a 32-bit, 192 kilohertz DAC, the Vault 2i has a detailed and resolute sound. At just over four pounds, the Vault is beautifully lightweight and compact. On the top of your unit, you'll see your touchscreen. On the front is the single 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone jack. And as for CD ripping, it couldn't be simpler. As soon as you insert a disc, it happens automatically and your files are saved in FLAC format. The Blue Sound Node, which costs $599, is obviously smaller than the Vault 2i. It features a 32-bit, 384 differential output design DAC, and it also provides a very detailed and resolute sound. And the node has the touchscreen on the top with a cool feature where, called Proximity Sense, where if you wave your hand, it lights up. And the front of the unit, like the Vault 2i, has the single 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone jack. Now, the node is equipped with Wi-Fi or Ethernet, HDMI eARC, Apple AirPlay 2, AppDex HD Bluetooth, or USB to hear audio content from streaming services, TV, or your own music library. Now, both the Node and the Vault can be wirelessly controlled with the Blue OS app. You can easily connect and integrate your music streaming services and control your device, music settings, and more. With Blue OS, you can stream from a cloud music service, podcasts, internet radio stations, or your personal music collection stored on a USB or on the Vault's internal storage. Hundreds of internet radio stations, premium music services like Tidal and Cobas, and dozens of other music streaming services are integrated within the app. The Blue OS platform allows you to stream your music libraries to multiple Blue Sound players throughout your home. And if you want to use Rune to stream Tidal or Cobas, the Node and the Vault 2i are both Rune ready. Let's go check out our next option. Now, Another streamer choice with a CD ripper is... You said to press it. <laughs> so another streamer option with a CD ripper and internal storage that's going to be a big step up is the Orinder ACS-10 user server for $6,000. We love Orinder for their amazing build quality, their stellar app, and pristine sound. The ACS-10 can be used as a companion to another Orinder music server to expand its function and flexibility, or is a fully functional server and streamer on its own. Available with up to 24 terabytes of storage, the ACS-10 gives you library management and metadata editing features. For streaming, you've got Tidal, Cobuzz, and Spotify Connect. The ACS-10 does not have a DAC, so you'll be connecting it to either an external DAC or to an Orinder with a DAC like the A15, A20, or A30. With features like caching music playback, a full linear power supply, and remote internet technical support, the Orinder is designed for a premium experience. Now the ACS-10 is a hefty piece weighing 27 pounds and measuring about 17 by 3.8 by 14 inches. 
The unit is pretty streamlined in terms of buttons, knobs, and I.O. On the front is your power button, a USB 2.0 port for connecting to the Acronova NIMBY for CD ripping. This is something you can rent from Moon Audio. The rear features audio USB, USB 3.0 for copying files from a USB hard drive, and three LAN ports. One of the three LAN ports is two times isolated. Use this to connect to another Orander server player to isolate the server from any noise introduced by the LAN connection. If using ACS10 as a standalone server, use the two times isolated LAN to connect directly to your router. Now, something to note is that Orander is a closed ecosystem, like Apple. As such, Orander does not integrate with Rune. The good news is that Orander has an awesome app called Orander Connector. Orander is a hardware company that's really nailed it on the software in terms of usability and appeal. On top of that, due to its many features, more than I can cover in this video, the ACS10 also uses its own ACS Manager companion app. Now, if you're looking for an all-in-one unit, we highly recommend the Matrix Audio Element X2 Music Streamer. It's priced at $4,399, and this is a well-built, streamlined, and powerful unit that incorporates a headphone amplifier, streaming DAC, and pre-amplifier. The ES9038 Pro DAC gives a more forward sound to this player with low noise and distortion. On the front, you'll see the large LCD touchscreen plus four touch buttons for playback. This is a great upgrade over the original Element X. Swipe left on the screen for the menu. The volume knob doubles as a mute switch. You've got quarter inch unbalanced and 4.4 millimeter balanced headphone jacks. And for streaming options, you have Tidal, Cobuzz, Spotify, Internet Radio, DLNA, UPnP, and AirPlay 2. Plus, the Element X2 is Rune ready. Now, the Element X2 not only has multiple digital input ports, it has also added analog input ports. Vinyl turntables with phono outputs, CD players, and other devices with analog outputs can be connected to your modern digital audio system by the Element X2. There are high, medium, and low gain options available to adapt to the different output levels of the front end device. A USB-C port allows you to connect an external hard drive with your own stored digital files. Plus, with the MA Remote app, you can access your network music, your streaming apps, settings, and more. Finally, Matrix Audio includes an awesome remote control with the Element X2. Let's go check out our next recommendation. Now, the Bryston BR20 is a fantastic option for an all-in-one front end for a speaker system, and you can also use it with headphones. The BR20 incorporates a preamp, DAC, network music streamer, and headphone amplifier. We call it everything but the kitchen sink. You also get the option of adding a phono stage for connecting a turntable and HDMI card. We adore Bryston for their excellent build quality and clear, natural, organic sound. Now let me point out a few things on the front of the unit here. You've got your analog input selectors, your digital input selectors, quarter inch headphone jack. You can connect up to 14 analog and digital source components to the BR20. So on the rear of the unit, you've got two RCA single-ended analog stereo input pairs and two XLR fully balanced stereo input pairs, two XLR balanced stereo output pairs, and six high resolution digital audio inputs with balanced digital to analog decoding. There's also your internal streamer USB accessory and the optional HDMI I.O. module. For music streaming, you can use Bryston's Manic Moose or you can use Rune. This is a totally personal decision. One thing to note is that if you wanna stream internet radio, you have to use Manic Moose as you can't do that with Rune. Note that Manic Moose is a web interface, not an app. So to use Manic Moose for music playback, you would connect the BR20 via its streaming ethernet port to your router, open my.braston.com in a browser on a connected device, and click the link that corresponds to your BR20. From there, you'll see a dashboard, which will give you access to a variety of settings. You'll want to click on Media Player.
Now, if you're looking for more portable options, here are a couple of great recommendations from Cord Electronics. First, you could pair the Mojo 2 DAC headphone amplifier for $775 with the Cord Poly wireless streaming module for $800. Cord's FPGA-based DACs are phenomenal, and the Mojo 2 is no exception. The Mojo 2 has a full and musical sound with great depth and detail. The Mojo 2 offers several ways to connect to digital devices, including your smartphone, tablet, or laptop. Plus, you get two 3.5 millimeter headphone outputs. Digital inputs include fast transfer USB-C, micro USB, optical, and coaxial with charging via a separate dedicated micro USB input. It's got these spherical color changing control buttons that are really fun and a new menu button offers navigation through a new range of features. When connected to the Mojo 2, the Poly is a high resolution wireless network music player, streamer, SD card playback device with high resolution wireless playback controlled by your smartphone. The Poly can access music by streaming over Wi-Fi, including from Rune, network storage devices, and collections stored on SD cards. The Poly supports PCM files up to 768 kilohertz resolution and DSD64 to DSD512. For a step up, you could pair the Cord Hugo 2 DAC headphone amplifier for $2,950 with the cord to go wireless streaming device for 1500. Now, the Hugo 2 is not as tiny as the Mojo 2. It's still pretty small. It's not quite pocket sized. The Hugo 2 is going to give you a more neutral sound than the Mojo 2 and you're going to get even more of those micro details in your music. Plus, there are filters for tweaking the sound. And the 2 Go is a supercharged version of the Poly with the addition of an ethernet port and more storage, up to four terabytes of SD card storage. Plus it's got additional inputs and outputs that make it easy to incorporate into a home system. Now let's go check out our cream of the crop recommendation. Finally, if you're looking for a top of the line, no holds barred, full featured headphone focus streaming option, check out the DCS Lena. The Lena is actually three units, a streaming DAC, headphone amp, and master clock, each available for individual purchase. The DAC features DCS's patented ring DAC system, digital processing platform, and expanse technology. It's fully balanced and compatible with all digital formats. There's a nice touchscreen display and plenty of connectivity options on the rear. The headphone amp has dual three pin balanced XLR, right and left channel, a four pin balanced XLR and a single quarter inch headphone jack. The master clock meanwhile is not necessary, but it's going to be the icing on the cake. Now, does not having an external clock mean that you can't enjoy your music? Of course not. But when you are trying to squeeze out every last drop of performance, adding one is the next upgrade. Now, playback and settings for the DCS Lena are managed through the DCS Mosaic app, which is compatible with UPnP, USB, internet radio, Tidal, Kobes, Deezer, Spotify via the Spotify Connect app, and podcasts. The Lena is also Rune ready, so you can use Room for streaming. Now, the premium nature of the Lena is reflected in the price, as all three pieces together sell for nearly $30,000. That's $12,750 for the DAC, $9,100 for the headphone amp, and $7,300 for the clock. That being said, this is truly an end game system with sound that's gonna blow your mind. In this video, we've shared several that have risen to the top of our list this year. If you have any questions or need help choosing a music streamer, drop a comment below or reach out to us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our awesome audiophile related content. Thanks so much for watching.